Okay, today we're going to be learning the blues, which is a great place to start when learning piano because it's pretty easy to get the grasp of comparatively to some other styles of music. And everybody's basically heard the blues at some point so they can relate to it. And it's a great place to start to learn improvisation. So I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to break this video into three parts. In the first part, we're going to be learning the simple chords. It's three chords that we need to know. And it's going to make a short groove. In the second part, we're going to learn the melody. And I'm going to show you how to play that. And then the third part is going to be about improvisation. A couple of words on that. So getting right into it. This is the song. It's called C Jam Blues. It's a very simple melody and a standard blues form. Okay, so first things first, with the left hand, what we want to play is this. Every time I'm playing C, but I'm moving the thumb from G to A to B flat and back, okay? And we're going to want to repeat this four times. Then we're going to immediately go to the F right here. And we're going to do a very, really the same pattern, but we're going to do it on the F chord. But we're only going to do it two times. This is really important, the order of how many times. And then we're going to go back to the C and do that two times. And finally, we're going to go to the G and we're just going to do it once on a G chord like this. And this won't have any flats or sharps. It's just going to be white notes here. And one more time on the F. And then two more times on the C. And that's it. So it's really imperative that you keep the form of this. In other words, right off the bat, make sure that you're doing it the correct number of repetitions for each chord. It's four times on the C chord, two times on F, two times on C, one on G, one on F, and two on C. So everyone is really familiar with the blues, but one of the things that makes it so familiar is we always do this exact form. So make sure you get in the habit of uh, doing the form always in the exact order. So one more time. until you get used to it and make sure you know you don't stop when you're going from one don't do this this is what not to do okay you don't want those pauses in between there just showing from experience of course when you start it might take a minute but you want to close that gap get right exactly to the next chord right on the beat okay now the melody, good thing about this song, it's called C Jam Blues, and it has a very simple melody. The melody is only two notes, so it's, so it's an eighth note. And that's going to repeat. One more time. So it really just this easiest melody as can be, but I'm going to show you how to place that with the left hand. So when you first learn it, you probably want to do it slow. It's going to be like this.
place it the way it's gonna line up is it's an eighth note. The first note is an eighth note, so one and that last note is gonna be on an off beat. So in other words, when you play the C, it's gonna come in between two notes that you're playing in the left hand. I'm gonna play it really slow so you can see where it lines up at. In other words, where the hands play together. So you see that last one? You're gonna actually play it in between when you're playing the A and the B flat, you're gonna play it in between. So. harder parts for beginner students is just to realize that's an off beat so in other words it's not on a down beat it's on an and it's eighth note so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and see one and two and so one and two and three and four and one playing the hands together you have to make sure that this hand's not playing what this is playing it's in between two notes on the left hand that's really the only tricky part of the melody that and getting the form down so one more time let's do it do for the melody now before this video goes too long i want to get a little bit into improvisation this is very important so we're going to imp we're going to improvise using the c blue scale it, these are the notes to the c blue scale c e flat f f sharp g b flat c going back down Any of these notes, and I want for this purpose of this video, I want you to stick with these notes. And you can, of course, play other notes over this, but for beginners, I want you to use only these notes. And we're going to play it over the chords. So. you to do that right off the bat of course you're saying oh yeah yes yeah, you know yeah right but I'm gonna show you some methods to start let's just take for starters I'm gonna just take I'm just take um, say three of these notes just the first three okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna try try just three notes I'm not gonna even mess with the other scale later but you can start just with one two or three notes I mean you probably need more than one but not necessarily it, you can use rhythm too one of the most important things about improvising is just the rhythm so speaking of rhythms I'll give you one other idea because it can be hard to get going I know one of the hardest parts is keeping the left hand going while you add the right because often when you're trying to do something with the right the left hand gets thrown off so I know exactly how that is but start with something simple like I said here's another one so you could just start with you could just start with two or three notes from the scale don't use the whole scale um, and that's a good way to build that once you get used to that you'll be able to build upon it now before this video goes too long let me show you one last method you can use now in the left hand we have quarter notes one two three four one two three four you could play the scale as half notes you could play it as 
that's quarter notes. So that's every time you play a note in the left hand, you also play one in the right. You could play it as eighth notes. So that means I'm gonna play two notes for this hand for every one note here. So I'll do it slow. Let you just keep it simple with eight notes. By the way, it sounds good slow too. You don't have to do it fast. Listen, it can sound nice slow. Just eighth notes, so I'm playing two notes every time. So you just try the different varieties one at a time. Half notes, whole notes, eighth notes. Try to get used to what they sound like individually. Triplets would be three notes for every one. So you do them separately, and then eventually you're just gonna wanna mix everything up. mix everything together so and you start with some eighth notes some half notes some quarter notes you mix it all in it up keep the rhythm going the rhythm is more important than anything in this song okay and when you're when you're playing the blues it's okay to hit a wrong note but you want to keep the rhythm going last note so I'll show you what that's like I'm gonna hit a wrong note <laughs> hit all the notes right now tell me how that sound or did this sound worse or did this sound worse say you don't want to mess up the rhythm the main thing you have to do is get that driving beat and be able to hold it that's the main thing I want you to focus on okay for this day before it goes too long I'm gonna leave it at that but I hope this helped you guys be patient and just work a little bit day after day Try to see how long you can keep it going without messing up the left hand. Try to see what you can add in the right hand and still keep this as steady as possible. All right, see you guys next time. Good luck.